Hey everyone, I'm Peyo Tom and I'm a huge LA Rams fan. So much of a fan, I made a whole YouTube channel about it, so subscribe if you're into that. Anyway, this is a video I gotta talk about Cooper Cup. He is becoming my favorite LA Rams player. He might be my favorite one of all time. He's definitely getting there and making the case for it. Not just for what he does on the field, but for how he conducts himself off the field as well. And I just listened to this interview, the fantastic interview with him on the Rams YouTube channel. Link to it is in the description below. And I just, I want to take a couple of the clips from it, break it down and uh, talk about it because Cooper Cup, he's someone who deserves to be celebrated. Uh, he is just such a fantastic class act human being. Really appreciate his humility and genuineness. And well, ch check out this first clip. This is Cooper Cup reacting uh, a reporter asked him what his thoughts are to all the wide receivers uh, around the NFL that are getting these big payday contracts. And just check out this, oh, so good response. Just so media savvy. Yeah, obviously very excited about, you know, guys being able to go out there and, um, you know, earn paychecks and um, do that. I mean, it's, just, it's uh opportunity for all these guys. It's just, I mean, it's life-changing money for, for anyone. It's life-changing money. So uh, to see some of these guys um, being able to get paid and go do um, you know, see all the work they put into the course of their entire lives, you know, being able to see that come to a place where they're, they're not changing just the lives of themselves, but their families and, you know, their kids and their kids' kids. And that's just a really cool thing. So I'm um, excited for those guys and the opportunities they're, they're getting there. And um, certainly, you know, you got to be excited about just markets and how they change and uh, what that did for a, for a position group that I think has kind of been stale for a little bit. But, you know, being able to see some guys kind of, you know, push the market up has been, been pretty cool. So then a reporter kind of pushes Cooper a little bit and, and asks him, do you want to be the highest paid receiver in the NFL? And this is Cooper Cup's response. Uh, no, that's not, I mean, I don't think that's really kind of the uh, approach that I take. Um, you know, I, I think there's, you know, guys are slotted in different places. And I, I definitely think there's a place that you want to be. Um, there's a place that I think you feel like is fair um, and, I'm uh, in a place for both, you know, for me and just for this organization. And um, I, you know, I want to be there. I'm not trying to beat anybody. I'm not trying to, um, you know, compare myself to anyone, anyone else. It's more of just, you know, being in a place that is like the, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Being in a, in a place that is just right for both sides. Well done, Cooper Cup. Well done. Talking about money can be awkward, but Cooper Cup handled himself so professionally, just Oh, such a class act. I, I say that often on this channel about Cooper Cup because he's just such a classy guy. And he, the way he's respectful to reporters, he doesn't get agitated by the question. It, he rightfully could be demanding a new contract. He could go out there saying, yeah, I want to be the highest paid receiver in the NFL. And maybe he secretly knows he's going to be the highest paid receiver in the NFL. I don't know. Uh, he knows his contract is coming. Uh, he's willing to be patient about it. He's willing to, you know, trust his relationship with the front office. And, you know, in this market where we're seeing, you know, lots of different tactics used by agents and players to get these big contracts, it's quite refreshing to see someone have such a human approach uh, and a professional approach to getting a, you know, a new contract. But we know it's coming and rightfully so. He deserves it. Check out this next clip that happens a little bit later in the interview when he talks about kind of his goals and his approach to the off season. The name of the game is just, I mean, ultimately the goal is to come back a better football player. Um, there's a short amount of time. You know, I can't do the same thing I did the, the year before. And I don't want to, I don't want to do the same exact thing I did the year before. I want to find the ways that, um, find the things that worked for me the year before, do those things and do them better. Um, you know, how can we be more efficient with your time, um, allow your body to get back to where it needs to be, but also be able to get the work in that you need to. And, um, so it's just, uh, it's a goal of not trying to, I think if you just do the same thing over and over again, I mean, you're not growing in that regard. So um, I want to be able to improve on what I did the year before um, as a, in the off season perspective of what kind of workouts I was doing, how I was programming all that stuff. Um, but then the same way, I got to be more efficient. You got to find ways to do it better and quicker and uh, be able to build your body back for, for um, you know, being able to put a, a better product on the field and uh, being a better football player. So um, definitely take a different approach, but I would like to think that would, would have taken a different approach regardless of whether we you know played into February or not. 
I, I hope to develop you know this kind of mindset into my work, even though I'm not an NFL player, but into my work as a YouTuber and into my work, uh, you know, in, into my, my full-time day job. Cooper Cup just does a fantastic job here of bringing it back to football, keeping the focus off of him and on the team, on what the team needs to do to be back ready for football next season, which just is an amazing way to handle reporters. He's not making it about himself. He's making it about his team, very media savvy, but also just he comes across as very genuine as well. And then a reporter presses Cooper Cup kind of once again about his contract situation and about you know coming and showing up, being around the building. And Cooper Cup, he really does a great job of just you know making it about the team. And check out his answer here when he's talking about the importance of being around the facility. And he really understands the relational component to football that often doesn't get talked about at all. Yeah, well, I think it's important for me to be here, um, be around the guys and be around this team. And, um, you know, the goal at the end of the day is to win a world world title. You know, whatever is going to get us in a place where we can go and compete for another world title to put us in a better position where we can uh, be a better football team. And that's the goal. Um, and I think the best thing that I can do is to be here and be a part of that as this, as this thing kind of starts to get implemented and starts to grow. Um, I also think it's best, you know, to be, you know, some guys – different approaches i'm saying one approach is better than another um you know but i think being able to be here being able to hide sean's hair gel in the morning you know little new nuisance <laughs> type things like hide less's bike you know can you do some stuff that just kind of um bothers them put them you know like can you open your drawer only to you know open his you know his pin drawer you know two inches you know do, doing little things which you couldn't do if i wasn't here so i think being able to be here just gives me a more tactical approach to things um but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be around my guys. I, I love the guys I get to play this game with, uh, the coaches that I get to um, work with. So um, I'm going to be here and um, work on being a better football player and being, um, being able to put our team in a better place for, for this, those run of things. And this final clip that I'm putting in this video here is the one that made me decide I got to make a movie about this because I believe Cooper Cup is becoming one of the greatest Rams players of all time if he's not already there and we you know we often talk about Aaron Donald and rightfully so and we often talk about Matt Stafford and we do talk a lot about Cooper Cup but I'm not sure we're fully giving Cooper Cup the credit he deserves in what he's become as an NFL player some people will say, oh, it was just one year. Okay, he had a great year. But Ram fans know he was balling out well before that. He had some injuries early on in his career that hindered him in, in some capacities. But he's come back stronger. Really looking forward to seeing what he does next season. I think he's got lots of life in him. But check out this final clip and tell me, tell me how hyped this gets you. Maybe you're not even a Rams fan and you're watching this and you're just a football fan. Is this not what you want to hear every player on your team say when he's asked about his approach to football? Yeah, well, um, you like no one has ever in the history of football, basketball, whatever sport you want, no one has ever arrived. MJ never arrived. Jerry Rice never arrived. Wayne Gretzky never arrived, right? Like every single time they were trying to get better. They were trying to be a better football player, a better basketball player, hockey player, whatever. They were trying to be better than they were the year before. And, you know, that's that's the goal. The goal is not to put more, you know, statistical numbers out there. The goal is not to make more catches or yards or anything like that. The goal is to be a better football player. Um, so there's so many things that you can go through from last year. Like if there's, I mean, so how you're hitting a, you know, how are you hitting these blocks? How are you, I mean, how are you going to get off the ball? How efficient were you against press coverage? How, how good were you with kind of your handwork, with your footwork? Uh, with how precise were you when you're running these routes? There's, oh, there's so much that you can be better at. I mean, it's, it's across the board. I, mean, I, I can get very, uh, as, as Sean says, I can get very granular here, but I'm going to keep it pretty broad strokes and say, you know, there's, there's things across the board in terms of my game that I want to be better at, want to be more efficient at. And, I'm not saying that that's going to make me, you know, catch more balls or, you know, that's not, that the stats might not reflect that, but um, I want to be able to look at myself at the end of the year and say, I'm a better football player this year than I was the year before. And at the, that should be the goal of our team. You know, we're not out here trying to defend championships. We're trying to go out and be a better football team to pursue 
another, you know, pursue a championship. We're not trying to defend anything. We're trying to just be better, move forward. Uh, the mindset is, um, you know, forward focused and um, being the best version of ourselves that we can be. Well said, Cooper Cup. And thank you so much for, you know, all that Cooper Cup is doing for this Rams team. Looking forward to cheering him on next season. Uh, if you've been watching this, I hope you enjoyed this video. I encourage you watch the full interview. It's way better when I'm not in it. And uh, the link to that is in the description below. And honestly, thank you so much for watching. I want to invite you September 8th. I'm doing a Talking Football for Food uh, security live stream. It's going to be an eight-hour live stream on the day of the Rams home opener. And uh, I encourage you all. Uh, come on out, uh, support that. You know we're gonna we're gonna try and make an impact right at the beginning of the season as we cheer on the Rams uh, to, as they begin their title defense. As always, go Rams! Horns up and peace out. Let's go Rams! Woo!